The elements came into play during round two of the Players' Championship, but Jerry Kelly battled through to grab a share of the lead. The rain did not phase Kelly at all as he sunk this putt on the sixth, one of eight he put away to climb his way 39 spots up the leaderboard on Friday. He dropped a shot at the eighth on his way in, but got it right back on the ninth to head into the weekend tied for first with Kevin Na at eight under. The Island Green on 17 is always full of drama, but a couple of the guys brought a little extra flair to the most exciting hole in golf. Hitting the bulkhead usually means your ball is going straight in the drink, but Will McKenzie got quite the lucky bounce and his ball bounced up the neck of the green to the rough. He then ran it back up the path, which is only about five feet wide, to a few feet from the hole and would make one well-deserved par. There you go, he hit it right out of the middle of the club. Oh, yeah, and I think he goes, that's one. Now, Matt Kuchar's ball didn't bounce down the neck of the green. It landed in the rough on it. It was a little too risky for Cooch to stand on the bulkhead and hit the shot, so he played it safe. Hit it. He actually decided to turn around and hit the ball while facing away from the green. It paid off for the past champ, and the crowd loved it. Now, neither McKenzie nor Kuchar will be teeing it up this weekend at TPC Sawgrass, along with a lot of other big names. So we're going to throw it out to Amanda Balionis to tell us a little bit more. Thanks, Hawkins. Well, the cut has been made here at the Players' Championship, and a lot of big names are going home early. Now, nothing describes TPC Sawgrass better than what we saw earlier in the day with Phil Mickelson. We're talking about a World Golf Hall of Famer. We are talking about a past champion at this course, and he is coming off his third consecutive missed cut here at the Players' Championship. And he said to the media after his round, you know, I was walking around on the course and I thought to myself, I can't believe I've actually won here. Remember, this is coming from a World Golf Hall of Famer. He doesn't even know how he did it just a few years ago. So a perfect example of just how challenging this Pete Tide course is, no matter how talented you are, no matter what kind of game you have, or no matter what kind of success that you've seen here in the past. Back to you. Thanks, Amanda. You can catch her and the whole Live At crew all weekend long on PGATour.com with both featured group and featured hole coverage. And I will see you right back here following round three for a brand new takeaway.